Welcome to the second episode of this new series, Fossil Friday, where this week we are featuring the legendary Sue. Sue is the nickname for the most complete and best preserved specimen of Tyrannosaurus rex. Displayed at the Field Museum of Natural History in Chicago, it stands 12.3 metres long and 4 metres tall. The fossil was discovered in summer 1990 by the person it was then named after, Sue Hendrickson. After Sue was excavated, there followed a huge argument over who actually owned the fossil. The owner of the land where Sue was uncovered had given permission to the Black Hills Institute to remove the bones at a price of $5,000. However, the owner of the land, Morris Williams, later claimed that the money had only been for the excavation and cleaning of the bones, for a sale later on. Williams was a member of the Sioux tribe, and the tribe declared that the bones belonged to them. However, the land where Sioux had been found technically belonged to the government, and so in 1992, the FBI and the National Guard raided the area where the fossil was being cleaned and took the bones. After the legal dispute ended and a long trial decided the bones were to be given back to Williams, Williams sold the bones at an auction to the Field Museum of Chicago, who purchased Sue, with help from various companies, for a total cost of over $8.3 million. Thank you for watching this episode of Fossil Friday, and remember to subscribe for next week's video.